had alerted the peacekeepers. Well, as David now reports, the Italians arrived shortly afterwards and managed to free the local residents. There's an eerie silence that hangs over the villages and towns of Kosovo. A deadly silence. Deadly because the Serbs are still here and here in force. Moving ahead of the Italian armoured column, advancing westwards on the road to Petch, we found ourselves in a no-man's land, beyond the front line of freedom. Smoke on the horizon marked the approach of the town the Serbs called Jakovica. They threw themselves on the bonnet of our car to stop us. Their only question, where is NATO? Fear suddenly replaced by jubilation. They crowded around us, trying to touch, trying to embrace, hardly believing their ordeal was finally over. But the Serbs were still very much in town, still burning and looting, and only a few hundred yards away. NATO, though, was stalled a mile back down the road, with no sign of moving in. Civilians came out, yes, and they said, please help us, please help us. When are the Italians coming? Yes. And they said, they're now burning and they're shooting. We heard shots, so now Fresh fire, fresh smoke in the Jakovica. Something happened there. When the situation was explained by Sky to the column's commander, he gave the signal for the column to advance. NATO's rules of engagement do not cover such situations, but he was determined to take the initiative. As NATO advanced, the Serbs began a quick retreat from a town they ruled with terror, and only jeers to see them off. David Chetosky Sky News, Jakovica.